children yesterday we have studied about the type of nucleophilic substitution reaction in case of haloalkenes that is we have seen the difference between sn1 and sn2 reactions today let us see which all nucleophiles are going to react with haloalkenes so let us study in detail about nucleophilic substitution reaction in case of haloalkenes that is haloalkene undergoes reaction with different nucleophiles let us study about them one by one in the first case haloalkene undergoes reaction with aqueous alkali it can be sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide or moist silver oxide moist silver oxide that is silver oxide plus water so alkyl halide undergoes reaction with aqueous alkali or moist silver oxide and results in the formation of ROH you will get alcohol plus NaX as the product this is a clear haloalkene undergoes reaction with aqueous alkali aqueous sodium or potassium hydroxide or moist silver oxide and results in the formation of ROH and NaX but if it reacts with the moist silver oxide then instead of NaX you will be getting ROH plus AgX will be the product is it clear children second one we can say that it undergoes reaction with the potassium cyanide and results in the formation of RCN plus KX okay haloalkane undergoes reaction with potassium cyanide and produces alkyl cyanide and potassium halide this alkyl cyanide do you know children they are very highly reactive species that is the cyanide undergoes acid hydrolysis if it undergoes acid hydrolysis it results in the formation of carboxylic acid cn gets converted to coh if it undergoes basic hydrolysis if hydrolysis takes place in presence of a base then it results in the formation of amide on the other hand if it undergoes reduction in presence of sodium and ethanol then you will be getting amine as the product is it clear children so we can use cyanide for different purposes alkyl cyanide undergoes acid hydrolysis produces carboxylic acid if it undergoes basic hydrolysis then it will get you amide and if it undergoes reduction in presence of sodium and ethanol then it results in the formation of amines that is primary amine this particular process in which cyanide undergoes reduction in presence of sodium and ethanol is termed as menthes reaction ya menthes reduction is it clear children so we have seen that alkyl halide undergoes nucleophilic substitution reaction with potassium cyanide and produces alkyl cyanide this alkyl cyanide are very important reagents since if it undergoes acid hydrolysis you will be getting carboxylic acid if it undergoes basic hydrolysis it results in the formation of amide and this on reduction in presence of sodium and ethanol you will get primary amine and this process of reduction of cyanide in presence of sodium and ethanol is termed as menthes reduction is it clear children okay now next nucleophilic substitution we can consider in presence of silver cyanide alkyl halide undergoes nucleophilic substitution reaction along with silver cyanide and produces alkyl isocyanide as the product it undergoes reaction with silver cyanide and produces isocyanide as the product so before going to the next reaction let us see what is the difference why with potassium cyanide it produces alkyl cyanide and with silver cyanide it produces isocyanide in order to explain that first let us pass through a term which is termed as anti dent nucleophile you just consider cyanide cyanide is a resonance we can represent cyanide as a resonance hybrid of two structures we can represent it like this so cyanide can be represented as represented as a resonance hybrid of these two structures 
On the basis of this two structures, we can say that in both this carbon as well as the nitrogen, they are always ready to participate in chemical reaction. That means this group of nucleophiles, this type of nucleophiles in which both the atoms act as donor sites. Both of them act as donor sites are termed as ambident nucleophile. Is it clear children? Ambident nucleophile means nucleophiles in which both the atoms act as donor site. There are two reaction sites in this particular type of nucleophile. So they are termed as ambident nucleophile. Cyanide is a very good example of ambient nucleophile so that cyanide as well as isocyanide you will be getting two products over here. Is it clear? So according to this structure both carbon and nitrogen are ready to participate in chemical reaction. Is it clear what are ambient nucleophile? So ambient nucleophile means the type of nucleophile in which both atoms act as donor sites. Now the question arises then why with potassium cyanide it gives alkyl cyanide or with silver cyanide it produces isocyanide. If you consider potassium cyanide it is actually a simple ionic compound. So in this case if you just consider C single bond C is more stable than C triple bond N. Is it clear? In this case, C single bond C is more stable than C triple bond N. So, in case with potassium, when alkyl halide reacts with potassium cyanide, the attack takes place on carbon atom. On the other hand, silver cyanide is a covalent compound. So, in this case, nitrogen is free to donate electrons. Therefore, the attack takes place on nitrogen atom and instead of alkyl cyanide, we will get isocyanide as the product. Is it clear children? So, first we have seen what are ambient nucleophiles. Ambient nucleophiles are the group of nuclei, that is they are the nucleophiles or group of atoms in which possesses two donor sites. Cyanide is an example for ambient nucleophile. Cyanide can be existing as cyanide and isocyanide or we can consider nitrite and nitro group. NO2 can be represented as NO2 and ONO. So in this that is nitro and nitrite. These are all examples for ambient nucleophile. Is it clear children? So we were studying about nucleophilic substitution reaction. We have seen three reactions that is Alkyl halide reacts with aqueous NaOH produces ROH. It reacts with the KCN, you will get RCN. It reacts with AGCN, you will get RNC. Now let us see the fourth nucleophilic substitution reaction that is when it undergoes reaction with sodium alkoxide. Alkyl halide undergoes reaction with the sodium alkoxide and produces ROR as the product. This particular reaction in which alkyl halide reacts with the sodium alkoxide and produces ether is termed as Williamson's ether synthesis. It is called Williamson's ether synthesis. The process in which alkyl halide reacts with sodium alkoxide and produces ether is termed as Williamson's ether synthesis. The next one we can consider when alkyl halide undergoes reaction with silver salt of fatty acid. Here again you will be getting ester as the product. Okay. Alkyl halide undergoes reaction with silver salt of fatty acid and produces ester as the product. Next case we can say that when it undergoes reaction with potassium nitrite KNO2 and produces alkyl nitrite as the product. Alkyl halide undergoes reaction with potassium nitrite and produces alkyl nitrite and if it undergoes reaction with silver nitrite you will be getting nitroalkane as the product. Is it clear? Alkyl halide reacts with potassium nitrite N-I-T-R-I-T-E and produces alkyl nitrite but with silver nitrite it produces nitro alkane. Okay children? Next one let us consider if it undergoes reaction with aqueous ammonia. Alkyl halide reacts with aqueous ammonia and produces 
amine as a product. It produces amine. This particular reaction in which alkyl halide reacts with ammonia is termed as Offman's ammonolysis process. It is called Offman's ammonolysis process. Okay, the reaction in which alkyl halide reacts with ammonia and produces amine. Actually, if you take excess of ammonia, you will be getting I mean uh, the products accordingly. Okay, so here this process is termed as Offman's ammonolysis. Now suppose if you just consider in this case, first let us take alkyne. Alkyne when undergoes reaction with soda amide NaNH2. You just remove ammonia molecule and we will be getting sodium alkanide. Okay children. First, we have taken an a higher alkyne undergoes reaction with the soda amide which results in the formation of sodium alkanide. Now, alkyl halide undergoes reaction with the sodium alkanide. Sodium alkanide and it produces, here you just remove Na so that you will get RC triple bond CH. Higher alkyne will be the product. So first we have seen that alkyl reacts with the sodium amide and results in the formation of sodium alkanide which further reacts with alkyl halide and produces higher alkynes. Is it clear children? These are some of the examples for nucleophilic substitution reactions participated by halo alkanes. Okay, so we will continue with the next reactions in the next class.